Hello, shiny, happy people. Welcome to Kimpa's Crafts. My name is Kim, and if you're new here, hello, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. Thank you so much. So I am here for an unboxing, and yeah, this is an oldie but a goodie. Um, so this is from Craftably. It is discontinued. It is actually the very first Craftably that I ordered. And I ordered this last year. I want to say I ordered it like in March or something like that. Um, I saw it and I I just couldn't stop thinking about this painting. And then I finally, uh, I, and I was very, very, very um, selective on the paintings that I bought. Uh, because, you know, they're expensive and I wasn't as crazy <laughs> as I am now. <laughs> so I was nervous about spending like too much money on diamond painting. Um, I don't seem to have that issue anymore or I do have that issue now. Anyway, so I saw this was unboxed on Rachel Ray's channel and I loved it. And I went on Craftably and I saw it and I was like, I just kept going back to it and like, that's going to be the next painting I get. That's going to be the next painting I get. Finally, I bit the bullet and I bought it. It was offered in this white tube as well as a plastic tube. And I didn't really understand. There was a price difference. So this was cheaper. So I kept like going to the details and the description. Like, like what am I not getting? Like, is this different? Is it smaller? and it was the exact same painting. It was just that you were paying for the tube. So I went ahead and got the white tube and I'm glad I did because they don't have white tubes anymore. So I have one craftably white tube. And the painting that I got was Shine. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I just love this painting. So I've had this in my stash for almost a year and Sam from Blunts and Gems, and I will link her channel below. She is doing um, DP for Black History Month. It starts in February, obviously. And um, I, I, they did have a DP for people of color last February, and I got her in March, so I did not have a chance to do her last year, and I thought, I'm going to save this for next February, and I did exactly that. Now, I also have uh, a canvas, my Aura Low, and that I unboxed. The New Orleans one, um, all that jazz. I thought about doing him, but I've had her longer. I've had Shine longer. And I really want to do her. So I know she's discontinued. I have seen actually some creators destashing her uh, not too long ago. I don't know if she sold, but uh, you know how some creators will have destashes on their uh, YouTube accounts. I saw some creators destashing her. So I think that, you know. You might still be able to snag one of her. Okay, so here is, okay, so if you guys know Craftably, they usually have their toolkits in a burlap bag. So I guess this is the other difference if you got a white tube. Again, white tubes are no longer, so you don't have to worry about not getting the burlap bag. That's fine. I have a few of them. So I got a small sticker with her thumbnail and the information. It is a round diamond painting and it is a 61 by 81 centimeter. This is a, it's copyrighted and the artist is Sarah Burrier. So, but look at her. She's so beautiful. Okay. So this is the standard tool kit. We have a glittery diamond painting pen and they give you three multi-placers. They are the thin ones, two, four, and a seven. And there's a purple squishy here. Purple is Craftably's color. 
So that makes sense. They also gave a square of wax as well as two pots of wax that are labeled with their insignia craftably. We have a Masva white boat. And even though this is a round, they still gave me some pointy, stabby tweezers. So that's cool. And two washies. I really like this one. This one screams Christmas to me, but this one is really pretty. All right, and it's a decent amount. Building up a nice washi collection. All right, so here's, oh, I got two of these stickers. Look at that. Okay. Um, here's the drills and we'll look at those in a second. Let's get this baby open. I'm gonna uh, roll her backwards. Oh my gosh, guys. She is gorgeous. I am so happy I got this one. She is absolutely beautiful. I it's I did not watch the video again after I got it. And I can't even remember her being this lovely. I don't Oh my goodness. Look at the so look at the leaves. These are like leaves. Oh, this is a starfish. So I was wondering if this was like seaweed, but it's so beautiful. But I look at these as leaves in her hair and then her face makeup, beautiful lips. And these look like lemons to me. <laughs> and then this makes me think of like bubbles or scales. She's just absolutely beautiful. But you see what I mean by they look like leaves. And then we have the blue starfish there. She is so beautiful. Okay, so inside of her rolled up was this sticker sheet. So this is like the older version of their sticker sheet. I guess that's why they gave me two of these. And here are the colors. They are beautiful. And we will look further into the drills. There's another sticker of her on here. There's like stickers everywhere. So I love that. These are the pre-bagged. They're individually bagged. So if you work out of baggies, you're good to go. All right, so let's just take a quick tour of the canvas. At the bottom left here, we have the thumbnail, the name of the painting, and the artist. And I think I'm saying that right, Bur Burrier. And then on the top left and the bottom right, we have the legend. It comes with another thumbnail as well as the size. And then here are the symbols. And we'll look at the symbols closer on the large sticker sheet because it's, it's, they're nice and big on there. And then at the top middle, we have their insignia craftably. So, I'm going to pan over this canvas just so we can get a little more up close and personal and you can see all the ins and outs of it. So I will be right back.
sticker sheet on the back has the craftably instructions again this is not how it comes nowadays but i'm just going to go over what's in mine if you have this in your stash and you haven't opened it yet and it's the white tube this is how it's coming guys um we have these large stickers and they have numbers and letters on them so you can see seven a g they're not in order and then they have the normal half colored circles, um, check marks, the staples, the equal signs, the mushrooms. I mean, these are literally all the same ones that I used on uh, the D Dreamer designs I just finished. Literally the same exact symbols. I had this one, this one, these two, this one, this one, this was a red on the Dreamers designs. Um, I didn't have the up arrow. I had this, it was a green. I had this, it was a brown. I had two different staples, just like this one has. Um, where's the other staple? One was a red, one was a green. These are blue and green, so you're not gonna get them confused. Um, so it, almost the same exact. This, this was a, a light pink on the dreamers designs yeah so very familiar and comfortable with these symbols nothing out of the ordinary so this was a light pink it's a light purple here this was almost like the same a light brown tannish this was a gray it was like in the sidewalk yeah i remember them all because i just finished it yesterday <laughs> so yeah um, symbols are standard symbols, nothing crazy. So let's go ahead and get into these drills, guys. It looks like we have three ABs. This would be one that would be a lot of fun to like sparkle up. I did accidentally buy some round uh, sparklers from DP with sparklers. I might bust those out and see if I have anything that'll match up. But I accidentally bought them when I bought them for Lady Butterfly. I bought rounds in my first batch, so I had to reorder squares. But let's see what I have in here anyway. All right, guys. So there are 54 colors. I don't think I said that. There are 54 colors. Craftably is really good at putting tons of color into their paintings. These are in order, so I'm not too crazy about messing it all up. Let's see. Okay, so there, there will be a couple bags if there's a lot of that color. Look at the sea film green. This is... Number two, 164, and obviously there's a lot of that in here. That's beautiful. And then we have this like almost lime yellow. It's a yellow, but almost has a green hint to it. Number three, and that's 165. We have this purple and this like it's like a, almost like a light mauve brown. This is very similar to this, but it's a little more on the green side. Oh, there's two bags of that, number six. Number six is 369. So yeah, when you kit up, if you have this one, in your stash you just want to make sure that you pull them out and like get them in order so they don't have the dmc on the bags they just have the number that's on the legend 
if you can't, if you if you just use baggies, you could always write the DMC right there. These are two different colors. Some more greens. And then we have a group of softer tones, some tans, a light orange, another light pale yellow. And then we have a huge group of blues. Look at these blues. So, they're all different colors. 24, 5, and 6. They're just like one shade off of each other. And yeah, we have some browns here and mauves. And olive greens. What's 38? Is this 310? 38. 3371. So this is all that we have of 3371. There is no 310. So it's all like lighter colors. Look at these pinks and mauves. So beautiful. It's going to be so beautiful. And then we get to the end here and we have some more browns and then we got the purples going on and boom, three bags of ABs at the bottom here. And so we have a lavender AB, the white AB and a pale yellow AB. Okay, let's see. So 54 is the pale yellow AB and it is a T. So let me see, let's see where these go. All right, I see some here in the shapes on the side here, um, some in her earring. That's where I mostly see it. I don't see any in her face. And I don't really see any in her dress or her hair. Okay, so that's the yellow. And then 53 is the white AB and that's the circle. So that should be easy to find. So we see it in her body paint. A little bit just to highlight her lip. Again, some in her earring. And again, some in her body paint. I, I I don't think like skin tones should be ABs, but I think that the body paint reflection will be really cool looking. And then again, in the background here and here. So that's where the white AB is. And then 52 is the well, it doesn't matter what the symbol is. <laughs> but 52 is the lavender, and that one I'm seeing in the dress. So it's this symbol here, and I'm seeing it in the like bubbles that I was saying. Um, I see it over here. Do we see any? So none on her shoulders or neck that I see off the bat. And I'm sure there's gonna be some in her hair. So yeah, I see it here, I see it here. Again, here. Yeah, so it's some of these, some of these light purple areas over here. But what do you guys think? I think she's so lovely. 
she's just gorgeous. I am so excited to do this painting for the DP Black History Month. And yeah, I'll be kidding this up soon. I have a good week, but I'll be kidding this up soon. And that's all I have for you guys. So leave in the comments if you have this one in your stash, if you finished it before. Um, I want to say, I, I honestly cannot remember who was selling it, but if you look up D, Diamond Painting D Stash, you'll be you'll find the creators that um, D Stashed some of their their stash on YouTube, and you might see her as one of them that they were trying to get rid of. So I did see a couple people list her, um, but I'm really excited to get her done this year. All right, guys, if you liked this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out, and if you wanna see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care, keep diamond painting.